So I just finished the sixth episode of the Orville Krill, and this episode pretty well establishes the Krill as the big bad of this series, very much so like the Klingons were for original Trek, like the Borg were for Next Generation, like the Cardassians and the Dominion were with Next Gener or Deep Space Nines. We have the Krill, and in this episode, Ed and Scott go undercover onto a Krill ship to try and make peace and kind of learn a little bit more about them and stop their evil plan. With that said, I'm going to go into plot points and spoilers in this and give my thoughts on it. But real quick, before I go into my thoughts, be sure to put your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'd love to have a lively discussion. If you're new, know that I kind of review each episode each week. So if you want to join in the conversation, consider clicking that subscribe button and join us next week. All right, let's get talking about it. Once again, another solid episode that touches on all the right notes that kind of pull on my nostalgia for Next Generation and other classic Trek that I thoroughly enjoyed, even to the point of kind of touching on another one of the plot st structures that they would use for a lot of old Star Trek shows where they go undercover to learn about a species. We see that here. In the plot of this episode, they're hoping to make peace with the people. They discover that they have a plan with a weapon to nuke a colony of people, and so they have to stop it. And much like this show's done thus far, it doesn't give you the cheap, easy answer at the end of the episode where the way it's playing out, you're kind of hoping throughout the episode that uh, they're going to be able to kind of connect with the lady teacher person, get her to understand where they're coming from, see that humans have souls, they're not all evil. Maybe they'll be the, she'll be able to um, stop them from using this weapon, and that's not where it goes. It doesn't take a lot of the cheap answers. It doesn't give like, oh, we're all good. We've got peace. Or she's not won over. That that sort of thing. You have a situation where to save this colony, they kill everyone on board with this lady watching with a bunch of kids knowing what's happening. And as she says at the end of the episode, you just made your enemies. You just made a whole new generation of people that hate you because you would do something like this. And so that's kind of one of the things I've appreciated about this show thus far is that it's not afraid to, while still being optimistic, still being hopeful, not give you the end that you're thinking you're going to get. It gives you some of these hard edge endings, whether that's in the third episode where they kind of go through with the operation or here, they kill everybody and the lady hates them. And so... Those are the things that I think kind of gives this show a little bit of edge to it, uh, a little bit that kind of makes it interesting in that it very much plays into exactly a template of a show that's easy for me to digest and exactly what I want by playing into my nostalgia for next generation and that worldview and that hope that I'm not getting from Star Trek Discovery. But at the same time, it's not all cheap, easy, happy endings. And so that's what I one of the things I've really appreciated about this show. And in that it when it tackles something, in this case, a group of people wanting to make peace, it's not that simple. Just wanting to make peace doesn't mean you make peace. And even when you want to make peace, you realize, wait, to save a bunch of lives, I've got to take lives. Those that's interesting ethical dilemmas that they're establishing that gives the show actual drama while still having the humor, while being hopeful, but actually dealing with ideas and the conflict within them. And that's what drives the drama of the show and what makes it work. And that it it's thus far kind of being able to pull off that balance of wacky Seth MacFarlane humor that the humor itself I don't think is necessarily fully landing yet. But it, it's able to balance these two things in a way that it doesn't feel totally off or unearned in what it's trying to do. So all in all, another solid episode. Not my favorite episode, but a solid entry moving things along very nicely and showing that they have got a variety of different directions they're taking it. And I mean, if I looked at the episodes thus far... The first episode's my least favorite. I had the most criticisms and looking back on it, kind of the plot issues kind of focused on some weird stuff. But the show is establishing itself very nicely. Very happy with it. But what about you guys? What did you think about it? Tell me down below in the comments section and especially kind of with the ending and how they're not afraid to kind of pull punches and have consequences for actions uh, along the way. What are your thoughts on it? If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, TV reviews, but the key thing is I don't want to just talk about movies and TV. I want to talk about it with you. So join me down in the comment section. Let's get a lively discussion and thank you so much for watching.